Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. We are continuing with our Angular 9 full tutorial series. And in today's episode, we are going to learn about an important and extremely critical feature of Angular, which is Base HREF. Without Base HREF, none of your Angular applications will work. It's that important. We are going to learn all about it in this tutorial series. Welcome back. My name is Sridhar Rao. I am here to share my knowledge with you also to learn from you all. During the course of this tutorial series, if you have any doubts, any queries, any questions, please drop them in the comment section below. I will be happy to help you for free. I'm putting in a lot of hard work in compiling these tutorials for you. So please support me by liking the video and subscribing to my channel. Thank you so much in advance. I have created a uh, full playlist for you, Angular 9 to full tutorial playlist, which has around 30 odd tutorials so far, and I'm adding more in coming days. So make sure you check out that tutorial playlist if you really want to master Angular. This particular tutorial series that we are looking at is Angular routing. Angular routing consists of around 16, 17 important concepts and features that one has to know in order to work with Angular routing. I have started this series two episodes back, so there will be around 17 tutorials total, so make sure you don't miss on that if you really want to master Angular routing. So we have covered Angular uh, routing introduction. We learned about different types of routing strategies that are available in Angular framework. And in today's episode, we are going to learn about base HREF. So make sure that you stay tuned. If you have not checked out the previous videos, please do that. All right, so what is base HREF? So base HREF is a very, very important a link which is in your index.html file, which tells the root of the web application. Every Angular application has to mandatorily have a base HREF. Unknowingly, if you have been using Angular, there is still base href in your application angular application angular applications are single page applications spa or spa which means there will always be one html file usually which is index.html the default of the base href is always set to slash which is the root folder of your server now the base, base href is present in your index.html file, right? Let's take a look at it a little bit and learn it. So now go to your index.html, which is here. So shrink the app. Now you see your index.html. Click on it. And here you will see under title, there is something called base directive with href. This is an important directive from router without which it will not know where to go, where to look for your files, where to serve the files from. This points to the root directory. So let's make some notes around it, so which will help you. If you are following the tutorial series, you see that I'm making notes for you in every uh, tutorial that we learn. So make sure you go through it. Base href. So all Angular apps, must have a base href directive. You can say, right? Now, base href is present in index.html file, like the one that we are seeing here. We are seeing here, we see base href, right? The default, the default path path of the href is always slash which means it's pointing to the root of the server where it is served it's extremely important extremely <coughs> important why the reason being that if you configure it wrong if we configure the base href wrong, our app will not work. 
will not work at all. They will learn that in just a minute. So what are the common mistakes? Like I said, wrong configuration leads to the wrong folder path and we don't want to mess with it, right? Now, whenever we do an output, whenever we say ng build, which is to deploy, right? When deploying, it will always assume that you are deploying you're deploying to the root folder. Let's take an example of this and learn, right? Let's say my site is called .com, right? Now, this is my website, right? Let's say this is my website. Now, if you see, when I deploy my code to this URL, this becomes the root, that is the slash, right? That is the root folder. But let's say I want to deploy my application to an URL which says slash here I'm going to say demo, right? So now what is my base path? My base path should be, it should be slash demos, right? It cannot be slash because when you say slash, it will point to the root folder. But now I am deploying it to the folder slash URL slash demos. So the base path, the base href should be now equal to slash demos. <coughs> so this is extremely important. If you don't get it right, you will not see the output, right? So how do we configure it, right? How do we configure it? So we can configure it whenever we are building, right? Let me show you that example. So how do we configure it? We configure it by passing the parameter base hyphen href equal to slash demos. So now do you see here I'm setting my, I'm setting my base href value. By default, it is always slash that you have seen it in index.html. But now when I do a ng build with base ref equal to slash demos, the path it will take is also slash demos. Let's see that output. So I'm going to open a new terminal and now I'm saying ng build hyphen hyphen base href equal to I'm saying slash demos, right? So what I'm doing here is I'm setting my base ref instead of slash, I'm making it slash demos. Now let's generate this. So now you see it will be, there will be an output here with HTML and we can see that value upgraded. Let's just give it a minute. But in the meanwhile, I request you, if you're liking the video, give a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. All right, so now it is generating the output. We should see that now in dist. All right, so it has generated the files. Now let's see for, let's, okay, we have the index.html. Now look carefully here, right? So now it is saying the base href is slash demos, right? So it would start thinking that your server path will include slash demos. If you don't have it, it will not work. Remember by default, it is always slash and we can generate it using ng build hyphen hyphen base href equal to slash demos. That's how we configure the base href. This was all about configuring and understanding about base href, a very important concept in Angular routing. In the next uh, tutorial, we are going to learn about routing module. What is a routing module? What is it does? How does it behave? What are the different configurations that it can go in it? We will learn all about that in the next tutorial. 
make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on it if you like this video give a thumbs up thank you so much for joining see you in the next episode